Hello, everyone. This is Bob Tallman on behalf of Hatco. I'd like to take you on a short tour of great importance on how we build our felt hats. How felt hats are made at the Longview, Texas Rough Hat Factory. The three different kinds of fur that are best for making hats are rabbit, wild hair, and beaver. The higher the percentage of beaver, the finest fur, the higher the quality of the hat. The combination of furs are layered in large bins. This layered fur is then fed into mixing machines where high pressure air blends the fur evenly throughout the mix. The fur is then fed into blowing machines where the hair is separated from the downy under fur. After the blowing process is complete, the fur is weighed out for each individual hat onto a conveyor. The conveyor deposits this blanket of fur into the top of a forming machine. This is a large cylindrical chamber. Inside the chamber, a three foot tall perforated metal cone is placed over a strong vacuum. After the fur enters the top of the chamber, it is sucked onto the surface of the cone. Where all of the fur has been deposited onto the cone, a wet cloth is wrapped around the cone. The cone, with its covering of fur, is then immersed in a vat of hot water. This is the start of the felting process as the hot water causes the fur fibers to curl and they start interlocking with one another. The delicate layer of felt is stripped from the cone with the utmost care. At this stage of the felting process, the bodies are so delicate that they cannot be worked individually. They are combined with several other bodies and wrapped with a protective cloth layer. In this manner, they go through progressively more aggressive felting operations where the bodies are folded, dipped in hot water, and rolled with pressure. Under the action of the hot water, manipulation, and pressure, the fur fibers interlock together tighter and tighter until they are tightly felted and the three-foot tall cone has shrunk to one-third of that size. At this stage, the bodies are strong enough to be worked through a felting machine without the protective cloth covering. An experienced operator, however, must see that the bodies are handled expertly to ensure even, consistent felting of the bodies. Once the felting process is complete, the hat bodies are dyed. After dyeing, the cone-shaped body is shaped to a rough hat shape. This is accomplished by soaking the bodies in hot water to make them more flexible. Then tipping, which stretches the crown, brimming, which stretches the brim, and wet blocking, which sets the shape. The rough hats are then dried. After drying, they are pounced or sanded to smooth the surface of the hat. The hats are then given a final inspection and packed for shipment to our finishing plant in Garland. Now at the Garland finishing plant, rough hat bodies are received from Longview. They are inventoried by quality, color, brim and crown dimension and basic head size. As orders are received, production tickets are issued. One part of the ticket goes to the body room. One part of the ticket is sent to the trim department where linings, leathers, and bands are produced to match up to the hat bodies as they are finished. The hat bodies are first blocked. They are placed into a steam blocking machine where they are steamed and then a wooden block is forced into the crown. 
This sets the crown height and head size. The hats are then run on a brim stiffening machine where a dilute solution of shellac is applied to the brim. This helps the brim to hold its shape after it's flanged. The hats are then air dried and then second blocked. The brims are pressed flat in brim plate machines. Then follows a series of finishing steps consisting of applying hatter's grease and then pouncing or sanding the brims and crowns. The number of cycles of sanding are determined by the quality of the hat being produced. Once finished, the hats are crown pressed to set the shape of the crown. Then they are flanged to set the shape of the brim. The leather sweatband, lining and bands are applied to the hat. The finished hat is once again inspected before being sent to the packing department. Final tag, stickers and miscellaneous trim, such as feathers and pins, are attached to the hat. It is hot block on heated forms to press the leather smooth. The hats then receive one final inspection before being individually boxed and packed into cartons. Hello everyone, this is Bob Tallman on behalf of HATCO. I'd like to take you on a short tour of great importance 